Okay, so in today's video, um, we head out to a couple of our local thrift stores. Um, we're primarily looking for games, but we do come across some uh, some new things to collect and add to the game room. Uh, stay tuned and you get to see what they are. All right, guys, so you know that every once in a while I like to kind of look through the toy section, see if there's anything interesting. Most often not. My kids have grown out of this stuff, so there's really not much that we find, unfortunately. Every once in a while, I might even find stuff like board games and stuff like that, but this time, guys, oh boy, we found this. Now, at first, looking at it, and I was like, okay, looks like maybe a helmet, because obviously it's Darth Vader's helmet, but I'm looking at it, and I'm trying to figure out, and I'm like, okay, $3, that's cool. What is this thing, eh? So, Lucasfilms Limited, made in China. Then I saw this part. Now, let's see if I can get it to focus. Star Wars Darth Vader talking cookie jar. That got me excited. So then I'm like, okay, so this has to open then. Okay. So I guess you put stuff in there, but I don't understand. Oh, okay, there's a battery thing. So it takes three little batteries. And then I'm like, okay, there's a signal there. So let's try it. Oh yeah, it works. It's not really talking, but still, for three dollars, how can we not, right? All right, so second store, looked around, didn't find too, too much. Uh, we did find one game I didn't have yet. That was $3.99. So I'm okay with that. That usually goes for about $10, I think, brand new or newer. This is complete in box. And then we picked up ourselves finally a VHS player. We did test it inside, it turns on. We tested it with a, uh, a VHS that they had in there just to kind of try it out. So sure, that's a good quality brand. And it sounds like it's gonna be a good deal, but we have 15 days if we need to return it. And we're looking at, it was only 10 bucks. So I'm not, I'm not too stressed about that. Uh, when we were looking for a VHS to test it with, Guys, we came across a sealed copy of Princess Bride. When's the last time anybody saw a sealed copy of a VHS, let alone a really good movie? So that's going into the collection. One of my favorite videos. Um, my wife and I absolutely love this movie. So yeah, second stop was pretty decent. Let's see if we find anything else. Okay. So looks like they got a few more games and again, lots of sports. Uh, oh, sorry. This is Barbie. I don't know. We'll put it up here for now. Sports, sports. I don't think I have this one. Check this. Alright, so let's complete in box. A blank one. Oh. What? Twisted Metal Black Online? I don't know. Uh, so it's complete. Let's check the desk. It looks good, but I don't, I don't know. We'll have to check that out. I've never heard of that before. This one was a lot of fun, but unfortunately that's for PC. Mercenaries 2. Uh, oh, I'm good with that. Go, Diego, no. Fitness coach, no, no. We're not gonna worry about that one either. Joyride, I think we have that already. All right, so we are checking these three games. If there's anything of use or anything good, I'll let you guys know. All right, so you saw there, we ended up getting these two. Not bad, they're around $5.99. They're worth at least double in most cases. Um, that's a unique one, I'm not familiar with that one. It looks like it comes in like a collector's box, but they just took it in a, like a DVD case. So we have the game at least. Um, and then if I ever see Lego, I have a hard time not picking up Lego. Uh, it's starting to get really expensive though. That's 
not a lot of Lego for that price, but knowing that this is what prices are now, pick it up whenever I can. It looks like there's some pretty decent pieces in here that we can add to my boy's uh, Lego collection. All right, let's see what else we can find today. All right, so let's see what we got here. Um, jump. We don't have it, so we can grab it. We play Tomb Raider on Wii. I've never seen that before. But we'll grab that. Anubis 3. $3. Sure. Monster Lab. Sounds good. Brain Age shows up everywhere, guys. I don't know why, but it does. Now look at all the movies. How much are they charging for the movies? Oh, Loco Roco. Don't know much about it, but Fight Night, three ninety nine. FIFA Street. You Chappelle on PSP. Like, guys, let me know if I should be picking these up. I don't know if I need to pick up any of these UMDs. I don't have a PSP anymore, but I'm definitely gonna be checking. Two, three, four, five, six games, and we got that 3DS XL for 79. I haven't found games like this in a while. All right, I'll let you know if I find anything else. Okay, so we're back in the game room. Uh, I'm gonna get everything unpacked here and lay it all out, and then uh, we can take a good look at it. But man, I'm telling you, I'm uh, so happy we were able to find some stuff this time. We're having a bit of a dry spell there, and uh, it's nice to see that it's just, you need to be consistent. You gotta hit up those thrift stores every once in a while, and then you find this type of cool stuff. Anyways, here, check this out. All right, so here's everything laid out that we picked up today. It was a interesting day. We got a smattering of different uh, finds as we kind of went throughout the day. Um, as you saw here, this was our first pickup. So this is pretty cool. We found this in the toy section. This is a Darth Vader. And at first I thought it was like a helmet or something like that. But actually, as it turns out, this is a cookie jar. Now, you saw in the previous video, there is a speaker right here and batteries that go in there and the idea is that there is a, a little button right here that goes off when you lift the lid currently right now i've got the batteries out of it though so that it doesn't just keep going off on us but it does work which is kind of cool so i'm thinking for in this room we're going to use it to put stuff like cables and cords and chargers or something like that um but who knows, maybe over uh, the holidays, like Halloween and stuff, we'll actually put candy in there and then make people open it and it will do its whole noise thing and everything else. So not bad. This was only uh, $2.49. And uh, from what I can find on average, this can maybe be, be on, say, something like eBay for about $15 to $30. So not too shabby. And then over here, we had this kind of cool score. So um, we went into our one thrift store and they had two VCRs. We decided to pick up this one here. So this was a Sharp. It's a forehead VCR. Um, it was $10. You can't really see the tag very well there. Uh, we were able to plug it in and put a tape in to just see if it would play the tape all that type of stuff uh, i'll be testing it after this to make sure everything works but if it doesn't we have 15 days we can always return it and get um, credit back so that's not a bad deal in the same store though we did find princess bride sealed on a clamshell vhs so guys like this is one of my i'd say top 10 favorite movies Growing up as a kid, 
Um, absolutely love it. I don't know too many people who don't enjoy this. It's a star-studded class of actors and actresses. So if you have never tried uh, this movie, you haven't seen it, I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, from there, we also went to a local bookstore. And they had some of these other VHS in there as well. So again, just kind of picking up some uh, some key movies that either I don't have on VHS or uh, just thought it would be cool to w watch those movies on VHS, kind of get the experience again. Uh, so we have Highlander, The Director's Cut, The Birdcage, Shawshank Redemption, The Great Outdoors, and then Monty Python and the Holy Grail. These are only 99 cents, same as Princess Bride. So all said and done, so... Let's see here, we got what, $16 that we've put into this whole thing. And uh, we can start collecting physical media for movies. Not too shabby. All right. From here, we went to uh, another thrift store. Um, they didn't have too much in the way of any of the... Um, consoles or anything else like that but we did pick up a few games these were $5.99 so we had Pirates of the Caribbean uh, and Twisted Metal now this one isn't an actual gaming case but the game and the book are inside so all I got to do is just find a case for that and then we would be good um, that MX versus ATV Unleashed uh, was actually over here with the VCR. Forgot about that. So it was just these two games at that second thrift store. Uh, from there, uh, had to go out, do some running around, do some chores and stuff like that. So they took me to the other side of town to a uh, thrift store that I find can really be hit or miss. This beauty was in the case and it was listed at $79.99. I'll put up the, uh, price up here in the corner, uh, of what these things go for loose on average this is a um, new nintendo 3ds xl in black um, it's got everything so it's got the stylus that goes with it um, i've been able to charge it up we just updated it actually just a little while ago so you'll see there Everything is up and running. Screens are in amazing condition. Joysticks are all in good condition. Uh, somebody's profile was on here, but we were able to uh, erase that. Parental controls were turned on. Guys, if you don't know, you can call Nintendo. Um, let them know you have forgotten the pin for this, and they'll walk you through the steps to uh, remove that from the console, and then that will let you then format the unit and then set it up for yourself so an amazing find there and then we walked over to the wall where the, we usually find games and uh yeah the hits just kept on coming this fifa game i'll put the price up here i don't know why it's worth that much yes all of these psp games are complete have their case the manual and the game um i don't have a psp and what's funny is whenever i collect games for a console i don't have all of a sudden i start to find that console so it's kind of one of those things put it into the universe and then you can just uh manifest it i guess <laughs> um most likely i'm probably going to look to get rid of the fight night and the fifa one i don't have any interest in those types of games um, and if I can get rid of them, then essentially it will come close to paying for all of this except for the console. Um, but we do have a few other ones. I've never heard of uh, Tuku Bot. Uh, but we've got it now and it was not anything crazy. These were all $3.99, by the way. Just to give you a heads up. I'm just going to grab a couple to flip over to show you here. So like... This is crazy. These are all complete in box. Little Big Planet, we didn't have those yet, so we picked those up. Motorstorm, we've been collecting racing games. 
Um, Wii games, apparently my Wii collection is going to explode, which I'm okay with. I didn't even know they had a two meter anniversary for Wii, but hey, I will take it. Um, all said and done, this is what we walk away with today. We're going to flip some of this stuff just to uh, see if we can recoup some money. But ultimately, we're keeping almost all of this. Just goes to show, guys, you just got to keep going. You know, I had a couple of weeks there where it was like maybe one, maybe two, maybe three games. And then here we go. All of a sudden, we were walking away with a small library of games. Okay, what can I say? It was a good day. We found a lot of cool stuff. Got some more games added to the collection. Our Wii collection is just exploding at this point. Um, we got a VCR so that we're able to start watching our uh, VHS. Uh, my wife has a pretty extensive um, Disney VHS collection. And I'm thinking I'm going to start, uh, you know, that Princess Bride movie has got me thinking I might want to start on a personal VHS collection. So uh, we'll see where it goes from there. Um, and then last but not least, finding that 3DS. Um, I know you, you, did, you guys didn't get to see me finding it actually at that Value Village. But um, yeah, this Value Village constantly is paying out. It's awesome that we're able to find this stuff. So um, just got to keep consistent. That's what it's all about. Uh, in the meantime... Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you feel so inclined, hit that subscribe so you know when I put up more videos. Hit that like button if you liked what you saw today and leave a comment down below. If somebody was to start a VHS collection, what movie has to be a part of it? Um, I'll check out those comments. I read all the comments that are on the videos and uh, I'll take that as inspiration. Maybe I can find those movies out in the wild and I'll let you know. Take care, stay safe, keep hunting those finds.